when you get on an aircraft, you're mostly hoping the person next to you respects your elbow room and doesn't jump over you seven times just to visit the bathroom. What you don't count on, however, like actress Eloise Capito, is that you end up marrying your fellow passenger. This Michalisburg Game Lodge wedding venue is half a world away from Auckland, New Zealand, where groom Chris Wilkinson grew up. Making her TV debut years ago on SABC's Fed Cook Palace, his bride is a presenter, MC, and voice artist who has written and produced her own album. Chris is a mineral exploration consultant who struck gold in Eloise. I sat next to him on a plane from Cape Town to Joburg. I went down for a German movie, and uh, pretty soon in the two hour flight, we chatted from the first moment and I knew. I wrote a song saying that my soul saw him. And so for a week I couldn't remember what he actually physically looked like, which is kind of hard when you have a first date and you're trying to locate him in a group of people. But um, I can't actually tell you exactly what made me know it's him, but I just knew. Ever since I got engaged, uh, I've been looking at ideas uh, about what I want on the day and I knew I get dressed a lot by my least for Sofa Magica and I wear ball guns and I absolutely love them. But I knew on the day I just wanted to be fabulously me. And so I wanted the two worlds, right? The, the world of the normal me and the world of the glam me in our work together. Um, so I didn't want to go over the top on many details, but I wanted everybody to sparkle. And so there's sparkly elements which I really, really love. So I kind of forced them to be in sequence in something glam, which is not Charlotte's favorite. But she's been such a good sport and, and indulging me in that. So I don't know how you feel about this after all of this. If I could wear my tackies right now, I would. But there's no one else that I would be all dressed up and dolled up but this young lady standing next to me who is getting married today. I'm very honored to be standing next to her. You're not allowed to make me cry. Eloise had never been up Table Mountain, so that's where Chris proposed. His Australian friends, Luke Knight and Soren Christensen, soon heard the good news. I'm excited because finally after all the time and effort that uh, Eloise and uh, her, her girls have put in, and they've worked really, really hard, it's finally coming together. Um, you know, you're always a bit nervous about how things might go, and all you want on the day is for everybody just to have a fantastic time. I mean, that's what it's all about. We've known Kiwi for probably a little over 20 very long years now. And you know, I guess he met Eloise about seven years ago, uh, and I was lucky enough to meet her at the same time. They work very well together. They obviously love each other dearly. They communicate incredibly well, which is something that you don't see too often, to be honest. I think they're very well suited, and I'm actually very proud of, of Kiwi for having the courage to take this next step in his life and all that it entails and giving himself to someone. So I'm actually quite proud of him. Eloise is an incredible person. Um, for, for every dark moment that I have, she, she is the light. She shows a goodness and a kindness to people that's just unbelievable. She's beautiful, she's incredible, and she compliments me so well in so many ways. And just, I love her, she makes me happy. And uh, she makes me want to be a better man at the end of the day. When Chris first Googled Eloise, he hit the jackpot, while his online presence was non-existent. So it has stayed, and their differences work. I've known Chris now for about 10 years. It is through him that I met Eloise. And I've seen him evolving and mellowing, and I've seen the two of them really enjoying each other and enjoying life together. And for the first time that I saw this, I actually knew it would probably end up like this today. Awesome, fellas. Good work. Well done. This is fantastic. What you've done is great. And uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work. May you be very happy forever. When it came to a venue, Graham Shipway offered to host the wedding and did a top job. We try and keep the, the, the bush feel all the way through the venue, from where they got married in the forest, to their photos with the elephants, to their interaction with the elephants, coming back in a game vehicle, through so their guests can mingle and wander and, and look at the magnificent view outside, through to inside here, um, where you've got the bush feel still all the way through. 
bringing the Karoo part of a rustic clam theme, the Proteas came with a very sweet tooth. Eloise and Chris wanted to incorporate the bush into their special day, so um, we thought we would bring through some lovely gold. I incorporated this foliage, which is from the area, and then we thought we would rather do cupcakes than a full five or six tier cake, as you know, it's easier for people to eat and it's also something lovely for them to take away and remember this evening. A classic case of opposites attract. Chris is not as social as Eloise, but they always have each other's back. Friend and opera singer Yalundi Nurki sang the bride down the aisle. Eloise and Chris, I wish you nothing but love. I wish you nothing but prosperity. A huge family and keep being bright. The bright light that you are in everybody's lives. I just want to wish the bridal couple a happy marriage, a sparkling marriage, and may their relationship grow from strength to strength. Combining the Aerosmith song, I told her to miss a thing, and Rihanna's We Found Love, the opening dance brought the house down. That dance routine choreographed by Billy Finkler was a showstopper. I was so grateful for that, because Chris doesn't really dance, so he went out of his way to make that, because I really wanted it. So thank you for that, baby. You looked awesome. We've just had the most incredible day from start to finish. Friends, family, all the people just turning up. It's the people that make the wedding. And we've got some very special people in our lives. So we just blessed. And now it's time for everyone to kick back and, and really get stuck in. Everybody was sued on the dance floor as the African and Australasian guests learned Latin line dance and salsa moves well into the early hours. On some flights, you get the frog sitting next to you, and on other flights, the prince. Congratulations to Eloise and Chris, and a big thank you to all our guests whose art, music, and impact on our lives is the best way to honor the legacy of Utata Nelson Mandela.